Welcome to the Arctic, a land of ice and wonder. Here among the floating icebergs and beneath the bright blue sky lives one of the ocean's most mysterious creatures, the narwhal. These majestic animals glide gracefully through the crystal clear waters, their long tusks gleaming in the sunlight. Join us as we embark on an Arctic adventure to uncover the secrets of these incredible unicorns of the sea. Hey there, explorers! Ready for an Arctic adventure? Today we're exploring the mysterious and magical world of narwhals. These incredible creatures, often called unicorns of the sea, have so many surprises waiting for us. And guess what? We've got our expert friend, Nigel the Narwhal, here to answer all your burning questions. Hello, Sam. Hello, explorers. Let's dive right in and uncover the wonders of the narwhal world. Nigel, first question. Why do you have that incredible tusk? Is it really a unicorn horn? Not quite, Sam. My tusk is actually an extra long tooth that grows through my upper lip. It's packed with nerve endings, making it super sensitive to the smallest changes in our environment. Scientists think we use it to sense shifts in water temperature, salinity, and even detect the movements of fish beneath the ice. It's not just a sensory tool. We also use it to show off to other narwhals. Sometimes we even engage in gentle tusk battles, almost like high-fiving each other with our tusks. It's like having a built-in gadget, a way to communicate, and a fashion statement all in one. That's so cool. But I've got to ask, where do you narwhals actually live? Ah, uh, the Arctic, of course. We thrive in the cold waters around Canada, Greenland, Norway, and Russia. These areas are full of icebergs, fjords, and vast open ocean. The Arctic is unique because it's always changing. In the winter, it's covered in thick ice with just a few open spots for us to surface and breathe. In the summer, the ice melts, revealing rich feeding grounds full of shrimp, fish, and squid. The seasons shape everything about our lives, from where we travel to how we find food. It's a cold, challenging place, but it's also teeming with life. Perfect for a narwhal feast. We have a thick layer of blubber, or fat, that keeps us warm even when the water is freezing cold. This blubber acts as insulation, trapping heat and protecting us from the icy temperatures. But that's not all. Our bodies are also streamlined to conserve energy, and our circulatory system adapts to the cold by redirecting blood flow to keep our vital organs warm. When the ice starts to close in during winter, we use our tusks to carve out breathing holes in the thin ice. It's like we're Arctic engineers, always prepared for whatever nature throws at us. We're built for this chilly life, and we wouldn't trade it for anything. Nigel, how do you stay warm in such freezing temperatures? Speaking of ice, how deep can you dive under it? Oh, we're expert divers. We can go over a mile deep to search for tasty squid and fish. That's deeper than most submarines can go. Our bodies are made to handle the pressure of the deep ocean. Nigel, what do you and your narwhal friends do for fun? Play, of course. We chase each other, dive and surface together, and sometimes have tusk jousting matches, all in good fun. Calves or baby narwhals are especially playful. They're always poking at things with their tiny tusks and exploring the Arctic like it's a giant playground. Speaking of calves, how do narwhals take care of their babies? Mothers are very protective of their calves. They keep them close and teach them everything they need to know about swimming, finding food, and staying safe from predators. A narwhal pod is like one big family, always looking out for each other. Wow, that's really interesting. Nigel, can you tell us about predators? Do narwhals have to worry about any? Indeed, we do. Our main predators are orcas and polar bears. Orcas are fast and clever, while polar bears sometimes wait by breathing holes to catch us. That's why staying in groups is so important. There's safety in numbers. That makes a lot of sense. Safety in numbers, got it. How long can narwhals live, Nigel? We can live up to 50 years or more if we stay healthy. That's a lot of time to explore the Arctic and pass down wisdom to younger narwhals. 50 years, that's incredible. Nigel, what makes the Arctic such a special place for narwhals? The Arctic is a magical world, Sam. The icy waters are perfect for us, full of food and places to hide from predators. Plus, the changing seasons bring unique challenges that we've adapted to over centuries. It's a one-of-a-kind home. Nigel, do narwhals make any sounds? 
Oh, we're quite chatty. We make clicks, whistles, and even buzzing sounds to communicate with each other and navigate through the dark waters. It's our own underwater language. Do narwhals migrate or do they stay in the same area? We migrate seasonally. In winter, we stay close to the ice. But in summer, we move to coastal areas where food is more plentiful. It's like taking a big Arctic road trip every year. How do narwhals find food in the dark Arctic waters? Our tusks help us sense changes in the water and our echolocation skills let us see underwater by bouncing sound waves off objects. It's like having built-in sonar. Nigel, do narwhals ever interact with humans? Sometimes, indigenous Arctic communities have respected and coexisted with us for centuries. They've even shared legends about us being mystical creatures. We're an important part of their culture and history. Nigel, how do narwhals handle big storms or rough waters? Great question, Sam. We're incredibly strong swimmers and can navigate rough waters with ease. When storms hit, we stay deep below the surface where the water is calmer. Our bodies are built to withstand the pressures of the deep, so we're safe from the turbulence above. Sometimes we even use large icebergs as shelters from the worst of the stormy winds and waves. It's all about knowing the Arctic and adapting to its every mood. What do narwhals eat most often? Our favorite meals are fish, squid and shrimp. In the summer, we feast on Arctic cod and halibut near the coast. But in the winter, we hunt for deep sea creatures like Greenland halibut and Gonatus squid. We use eco-location to find our prey in the dark and our sharp, sensitive teeth to snag them. It's like having an underwater buffet all year long. Wow, that's fascinating. Nigel, how do narwhals sleep? Uh, sleep for a narwhal is quite different. We rest by floating near the surface or just below it, often in short bursts. Since we need to surface to breathe, we can't fully fall asleep like land animals do. Instead, we go into a half-resting state where one part of our brain stays alert while the other takes a break. It's a bit like taking lots of little naps throughout the day. That sounds really interesting. What do narwhals do during the long Arctic winter? A winter is a busy time for us, Sam. While the surface is covered in ice, we stay active below, finding food and staying close to our pods. The ice actually gives us some protection from predators like orcas, since they can't easily navigate under thick ice. We also use our tusks to break through for air and even play beneath the icy ceiling. It's a magical and unique season for us. That sounds like an incredible way to spend the winter. What's the biggest challenge narwhals face today? The biggest challenge we face is the changing climate. As the Arctic warms, the ice we rely on for safety and food is melting faster each year. This makes it harder for us to find food and avoid predators. But with people learning about us and working to protect the Arctic, there's hope for a better future. That's why educating children and adults about wildlife is so important. Nigel, can narwhals recognize each other? Absolutely. Each narwhal has a unique pattern of spots on its body, almost like a fingerprint. We also recognize each other by our sounds and behaviors. Narwhals are social animals and we form close bonds within our pods. It's like having a big family where everyone knows each other well. Do narwhals ever get lonely? Not often, Sam. We're very social and almost always stay in pods of 10 to 20 narwhals. During migrations or big feeding events, hundreds of us might gather together. It's rare for a narwhal to be alone and our pod dynamics keep us connected and safe. Nigel, what's one thing you'd want kids to remember about narwhals? That we're unique and vital to the Arctic ecosystem. Protecting the environment helps us and all the animals that call this place home to thrive. Stay curious and keep learning about wildlife. Wow, explorers, what an incredible journey this has been. From learning about narwhals' amazing tusks and their deep diving adventures, to discovering the unique challenges of Arctic life, we've uncovered so many wonders of the natural world. But before we say goodbye, let's take one last moment to celebrate the beauty and resilience of these magical creatures. Narwhals remind us that even in the coldest, most remote places on Earth, life finds a way to thrive. 
These gentle giants play a vital role in their ecosystem, from balancing the food chain to supporting the Arctic's delicate harmony. It's up to all of us to protect their home and ensure that future generations can marvel at their beauty. And isn't it so cool for kids like you to see and learn about real animals from around the world? Here on this channel, every adventure takes us closer to understanding the incredible creatures that share our planet. Explorers, thank you for joining us on this journey through my Arctic home. Remember, every time you learn about animals like me, you're helping to keep the world's wild places alive and thriving. Stay curious, protect our oceans, and never stop exploring. Thank you for being such amazing adventurers today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos and exciting wildlife adventures. Together, we can make a difference for the animals and environments we've come to love. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep caring for our incredible planet.